MZXT recently launched their build kit lineup, which is kind of like a DIY pre-build kit, I guess. How it works is you send MZXT some money, and then they send you a box with a PC worth of components in it, and a detailed guide on how to assemble that PC. Now, just putting aside the fact that this is generally a good way to get your hands on a graphics card at the moment without selling your kidneys on the black market, this product is clearly aimed towards the first-time PC builder. So, to test its beginner friendliness, I'm going to get Anna to build the kit with no external input from me. I mean, I'm not allowed to help you, but damn, there's like a book in front of you that explains. <laughs> Which should be interesting, considering the last time Anna was at all involved with a PC build was like a year and a half ago, and there was a lot of help from my end. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. But first, a word from Lenovo. Today's video is sponsored by Linode, which is a powerful and easy to use Linux based web hosting service that's currently the top rated infrastructure as service provider on G2. Very impressive. Linode also has an extensive marketplace of fully configured one click apps for whatever use case you need Linux based web servers for. Be it WordPress development, file hosting, database management, video hosting, or even games servers, Linode has you covered. If you have a heavy computational load, Linode is an affordable and easily scalable option. Linode is also in the process of implementing Google Pay, which will make your monthly payments more seamless. If all of this sounds good to you, sign up to Linode using the link in my description below to get a $100 60 day credit. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty confident. Kind okay. of. I mean, let's begin. I am so shaky. I'm like. <laughs> this, oh! Goodness. Oh! Power! Lots of waste. Yeah, lots of turtle death. Lots of turtle exciting. death. Okay, so this is the motherboard. Um, it says it's got onboard Wi Fi. Nice little box. Oh, is that the. This is my book. This is my homework. Oh, no. Oopsies. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, I think that this is actually a great project for a parent or someone to give a kid because this literature is so fun. Look at the little pictures and the illustrations. Um, I'm excited now. I'm like officially really, really happy to build this. <laughs> <laughs> and I totally think I can. <laughs> the journey begins. <laughs> Ooh, I know that this is the thing that'll get everyone very excited. Oh yes, this is a, a mystical being. TI. Next, we have got a Seasonic power supply, uh, 80 plus bronze, and it is a 500 watt power supply. This is a cooler, a deep cool cooler. Oh, tools. <laughs> a 510. Okay, adventurer's map for PC building. All right, I mean, Part of me wants to just see how far I can get without it because no. <laughs> I'm like lazy <laughs> and I don't want to read. You're all like, oh, I'm so excited by the illustrations. Let me completely ignore it and see how far I can get. Okay. Part identifiers, we've got. <gasps> Where's the CPU? Never mind. <laughs> C is for CPU. <laughs> so that means the CPU's in here. What is D for? <laughs> all right, B is for RAM. So we've got some memory. We've got, we've got some got two RAM. sticks. Two sticks of BRAM, that's very so that's exciting. that's already, already an improvement. Then we've got a CPU. Okay, and then we've got an NVMe SSD. We're gonna start with level one, installing the memory. So, what you need is the motherboard, which is A, and the RAM, which is B. Okay, now I am gonna do an expert move here and build well, start building on the motherboard box because I've seen David do that a lot. Heatsink, CPU thing, RAM slots. Okay, so I have to locate channels two and four and that's where the RAM is gonna go. We're gonna unclip two and four. Oh, am I supposed to do it in a certain... Oh, oh, okay, we got it guys. Oh. Okay, the RAM is officially in. I didn't even have to like check the orientation which they tell you and the memory thingies and the push firmly. I'm just so boss. Installing the processor. 
and I can tell that this is an Intel CPU because it doesn't have the pins on the outside. Yo, you can't say stuff like that. Then really? people are going to know you're not a complete noob. Okay, the only reason I know that the Ryzen has the pins on the outside is because of how many times you've bent them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have an i5-11400F. All right, so we've identified that we have an Intel CPU, not an AMD CPU. So the little triangle is here. So that goes to the big triangle. All right, and then I just... Oh! It felt weird. Oh, that. Uh, do I need this? Oh, shit. Oh. I'm doing it. It's in. Level three. Um, we're gonna need the motherboard, NVMe, screw handle, and the faux bit. That looks like a reasonable screwdriver. Yeah. I'm gonna guess and say that this is where the NVMe drive goes. Ooh, I don't know. Because these don't look like... <gasps> I don't know what to do here. Um, I mean... Okay, I'll read. This... <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay, the NVMe is I mean, I'm not allowed to help you, but damn, there's like a book in front of you that explains. <laughs> okay, I am embarrassed. <laughs> All right, so here it tells you, basically, it's this thing. Ooh. Okay, that's it. Ooh, that was scary. Can you tell I was going to be a surgeon? I don't have a shield, so let's progress to the next level. Hey, air cooler, that's the one we've got. I really like all the illustrations that they've done. Look at the eyes. Aren't they sweet? They're so glowy. Uh, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> it's not lying flush. This side. Mm. Oh wait, this goes on the back. Right? Yeah, just follow the instructions. <laughs> Attach the back plate. I'm gonna lift up my motherboard with my <laughs> moist hands. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pop it on. Oh, that was easy. Secure the nuts <laughs> and wash. <laughs> <laughs> PC building is hard. My neck is tired. <laughs> Discovery of the H510. All right, I should do this away from myself, considering that I just, this, oh, okay, whoopsies. Ooh. Okay, I don't know what to do yet. Mm, uh, if only there was some way to find <laughs> out. <laughs> Unscrew the glass paneling. They don't come out all the way, right? Oh, never mind, they do. Place it down gently with the open interior facing upwards. Hey. Ah. Yes. Okay. We're in, I think. Place the motherboard um, into the case, angle towards the IO shield, align the ports with the holes of the rear IO so that they fit tightly. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna now line up my screws. I've just gotta squish the motherboard a little. David, I haven't dropped a screw. You're not gonna get tased then. Yeah, I know. Oh. Okay, didn't fall out. Great news. Okay, we're gonna be installing the PSU now. Non-modular, semi-modular, modular. I think we probably have a modular power supply, but I'll have to check. Non-modular, eh? I thought non-modular power, power supplies were free users. Yo, that's why you got a non-modular one. <gasps> <laughs> I think I need to change my shirt now. <laughs> okay. All right. Our power supply is officially in. There's a whole cable management section. That's how I feel all the time. Trapped. <laughs> okay, that's not. <laughs> and then, like, trapped in like a chaos and mess. <laughs> I don't, know if it's getting, I don't know if it's getting better. Let's just swiftly move on before, okay. before I, before hurt any I more start feelings. crying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pop this through here because I think that needs to connect to the motherboard. I mean, these all, I guess, need to connect to the motherboard. So I think I need to figure out where to put the power supply cables now.
No, nope. you gotta put them together. Okay, this sucks. What? Oh no, oh no. All right, HD audio. I think those two are done. Next is the USB-Cs. Yes, USB 3 here. Nice and clear, it says. Yo, aligning pins is hard. <laughs> Kiana, you know I break them all the time. Yeah. And our next one. I think so. I think that's it. All right, I feel like that's a very nice cable management loop thingy. The case fan cables will have three holes, so make sure that the clips align with the port on the board. It's such a cute little connector. Oh. <laughs> such a cute little connector, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's okay. We didn't break it, we didn't break it, we're good. Prepare the PCIe VGA port. Oh my God, there are so many cables. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I must say, I'm actually having a thoroughly enjoyable time. Okay, that's yeah. good. I'm, I'm glad to hear um, you're enjoying it. That's mm, because it's it's challenging, um, but it's it's nice to like think like this, <laughs> or just to think differently. The greatest threat handled. Huzzah! The cable menace is almost defeated. It really felt like you were tackling a monster. Like I still have a whole bunch here that I have no idea what it's for and where I'm gonna put it, and it just seems like what. <laughs> Uh, we will now continue the CPU cooler installation. If you have an air cooler, skip to pages 122 to 131. Damn, I was really hoping you were going to leave it on. It would have been so funny. <laughs> that would have been really bad. So I'm going to guess like so. If I look at the picture. Ah, oh, yeah. Whenever you look at the instructions, um, and then look at my work. I can't tell if you're like obviously wrong, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. This is this is good. We've got to apply the thermal paste, and it says to use this actual size amount. Oh, I'm so excited for the world to judge my thermal paste application. We'll, we'll censor it. It's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> Probably a bit much, but that's okay. Okay. Attach the heat sink. I didn't realize how much of a hazard hair presents right? in, okay. in, a, in a PC build because it like keeps going everywhere. Uh, yeah, it keeps getting stuck in bits. Okay. Okay, that's in. Oh my god, I've totally got some hair in my eye. Like so. This feels silly to me. Why would they make you? What, why would they give you an adapter instead of just making this plug straight Yo, into the don't, RGB? Don't even get me started on <laughs> RGB connectors. Like we'll be here all day with me ranting. No worry. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, no, no. Don't even get me started on that. I matched the little. Here it says plus twelve volt and then uh, GRB, and that matches uh, the top ring of the or the top of the motherboard there, where there's a little sign that says. Oh yeah. And a tech tips. And a tech tips. Cool. All right. Let's see where the, the magic happens. <laughs> okay. <gasps> <Was> that not <laughs> the right way? Very, very rough with that like rare piece of hardware right there. <laughs> I think I'm putting a lot of pressure on. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, I basically just moved these cables up because they were p pointing down. And if I tried to put the GPU in, I wasn't, it was like being too, resi it was too resisted. Oh, crumb. Crumb. Did you lose all those screws? <laughs> I did lose one of them. <laughs> it was just like tossing stuff around so gleefully, like. <laughs> Oh, I'm definitely never going to need this thing again. Let me just... <laughs> I've made a mistake. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Okay, now time to stuff. <laughs> Oh, 
voiceover David here. Up until this point, Anna's done an amazing job in terms of rear panel cable management. It looks way better than when I do it. So let's see what happens when we fire up the PC and try and do some gaming. All right, so now we are gonna hook the rear panel in and then we're gonna put the front panel on and then I'm gonna turn it on. So how do you feel? Accomplished, actually, very accomplished. I am chuffed. I think, I okay, I have like, an 80% certainty that I have assembled this correctly. And 80% is pretty low because at the very last minute I found that there was a CPU fan that I hadn't plugged in. So now I'm wondering if there's other stuff that I haven't plugged in or forgotten about. So let's see. Oh, and the other thing I'm a bit worried about is the actual CPU. I, Cause I think my CPU cooler mounting was not ideal, but I hope it's gonna turn on. Okay, Miss Anna Tech Tips, it's time to see if your PC works. Hey. That is great. Oh, and the one at the back. Hey, and it actually comes with Windows pre-installed in it, which what? I think is, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, and their RGB system. Good job, well done. And You've got a- have done it. Yeah, functioning PC. And we should state, if I can do this, your children can. <laughs> A few moments later. So the PC kept crashing, um, and I think that may be the reason why. Because uh, I, I didn't tell anything, anything to Anna about the mounting of the CPU cooler that she did wrong. And um, apparently I should have said something. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get Anna to fix her mistake. Not <laughs> really, surprise! That's <laughs> yeah. where it went wrong. I am quite embarrassed though. <laughs> the moment of truth we get to see <laughs> get to see what just happened? what's going on down <laughs> <laughs> it didn't touch at all it didn't touch at all <laughs> this is this is good okay moment of truth 2.0 <laughs> no, it's fine. A PC can take care of itself. You know, it's got a whole bunch of fail safes in place. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> it works now. Yay. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to install a game on it and then you can do some gaming on the system that you labored out yourself. Yeah, in terms of the game, um, it's a bit weird. We're using the ray tracing demo for uh, Quake 2. Is he on my team? No. Uh, no, you don't have a team. But look at those temperatures. We've got... Hey, look at how cool my CPU is. Yeah, 32 now... 32 degrees. Now that it's not running 96 degrees in the BIOS, it's way better. Look at that. 300 frames per second. That just seems ridiculous. I know, right? You're spoiled with frames. Oh, wait, I shouldn't... I almost just jumped in there. Wait, where am I going? Oh, no, no, not down there. If you go no. up. So you just need to go down there. Okay. It's good, yeah. Hey. Yeah, and then just keep going down. Okay, no, no, to your left? Yeah, yeah, there's like a whole bunch of stuff everywhere that you're gonna find. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why did you put me into the, this deadly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so how do you feel about finishing your own PC? I am pretty chuffed, actually. I feel a great sense of accomplishment, even though I made a big boo-boo. Yeah, the thing is, like, mistakes like this happen so easily while building a PC. Yeah. Like, it's it's so normal. I'm actually really glad something did go wrong, just to illustrate too, that it's, it's, it's pretty normal. So, also how I feel like I address or tackle my hobbies um, is by learning through doing. So I don't really mind that I made a mistake. Well, as David was saying earlier, computers have this great way of looking after themselves. So even though I made a mistake, the computer just kept shutting down uh, to prevent anything harming the CPU, which is great. You know, the fact that they have those fail safes in them is awesome. You did a really good job. The system looks amazing. And it does look really pretty. The graphics card is beautiful. The RAM looks really nice. So the build was challenging, but I feel like I accomplished something, which is great. 
that's awesome. So thank you very much for watching. Anna did a really good job. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. And until the next video, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>